I, a female producer, am at the intersection of gender and music production. I feel both divine and affliction with this intersection. Divine affliction is my story. It describes the duality of feelings I have with my creative practice, music production. I feel affliction with my femininity in the culture of music production and being a female producer. I feel divine when I'm writing music. The experience, it's transformational, like praying, or healing. I am in a pure meditative state, free, immersed, deep in the realm of production. My temple. with music started early with the organ and flute then guitar and eventually percussive instruments drumming and marimba as i got older i became inspired by electronic beats and production when i'm writing music i express my personal experiences thoughts and emotions my authentic self that's what Authentics is. The amalgamation of my musical background with my authentic self-expression. Organic stories synthesized into electronic form. Music is my passion. Music at its core is storytelling, sharing an experience, connecting with a community, Reciprocation, communion, exchange. Music connects me to my core self, like an ancient connection, bound to the heart. I feel it in my chest, the beat, the vibration through my bones, the call and pull on my soul. It's ancient calling, I hear. with my otherness in music production, the alter gender. It's hard to not feel lonely when the majority of producers are male. My female otherness is even more prevalent due to motherhood. I feel held back in my creative practice due to being a female, along with the sacrifice of full-time motherhood. I at times feel torn between motherhood in production. Motherhood is my biggest life achievement. The connection between myself and my daughter is a beautiful strong bond, an eternal love. Being a mother is a special journey, a feminine rite of passage. 
bound by blood, maternal lineage running through our veins. I think of the suppression of our gender and I look into her face and I'm reminded why I walk this path of subversion. I'm binded to you by blood. Maternal lineage in our veins and in that blood runs deep. Gender bound in chains. I walk this path of subversion. Show you the strength that we bear. Show you the power of that blood. Our gender is fierce yet fair. Suppressed for our sexuality. Feared for sake of sin. The female sexuality will help you rise. Never let anyone tell you different or sense your feminine force. The female is the sustainer of life. We are the very source. I am a female. I compose from my embodied feminine, telling my feminine stories. Music has been represented throughout history as a feminine realm. By correlation with the body and dance, singing, vocality, and sensuous pleasure. Greek myths reveal stories of the two mouths of the female body, the vocal and the sexual, possibly due to the vocal cord resembling a vagina, affirming this connection between music and the feminine. The female is a unique being, suppressed for her sexuality, deemed a sin. Though the female sexuality is so powerful, with it comes a cycle of life and is the reason the human race survives. She is the divine portal, far from sin. Enslaved to the binded chains. Representations of women in music are coded with token identities. A diva, a dancer, a dainty songstress, a girl next door, all inauthentic representations of the female. Deemed either the virgin or the whore, stuck with outdated archetypes demonstrated by the church, with the pillaring of the Virgin Mary and the condemning of Mary Magdalene the whore, or Eve, who in both form and symbol represent woman, along with a prevalent belief that all women are by nature disobedient, weak-willed, naive, prone to temptation, or evil, disloyal, deceitful, and seductive. These outdated representations of women and music are due to fear of feminine sexuality. of the church and government believed female expression as a threat to their power. Due to this, they imposed the impression of female expression as unrational. Let women keep silent in the church during the fourth century was the earliest official censorship silencing women from music. The church placed a systematic control over both of the female's mouths 
vocally and sexually. The censoring of women from music is like the censoring of Lilith from history altogether. Lilith was the first wife of Adam. She was banished from the Garden of Eden when she refused to make herself subservient to Adam. When she was cast out, she was made into a demon figure and Adam was given a second wife, Eve, who was fashioned from his rib to ensure obedience to her man. Lilith and Eve were both banned from the Garden of Eden, like women censored from music. Eve's curse has been a woman's voice, though women should use the voice of Lilith. Lilith tells us to take back our power, and with it, we will be silenced no more. Conversations have begun. Many women are starting to rise and are sharing their stories. Divine affliction is my way of communicating my story. By communicating my story, I feel liberated from the afflictions with my identity as a female producer. Instead, I cherish it with pride. And as more females start to be heard, our loneliness will demise. I'm excited for the future. Yes, the future will be equal. Bring on the rise. Feel the rise of the feminine. Bring on the rise of the feminine. Feel the rise of the feminine. Bring on the rise of the feminine. Don't need penetrating